Hey guys, TechMate Easy, and we are excited to bring this to you. Hopefully, we are the first to show you this. We got our hands on the new SelectCut XP Speed IQ mower. And yep, we spent over $1,200 of our own money. This is not a sponsored video, so we're going to ask you for those thumbs ups big time, okay? We're going to take a close look at this. We're going to unbox it, and we're going to do whatever we can obviously in the winter time. This is how we roll. So why don't we go ahead and get this party started? All right, guys. So we do need your support. Spending over $1,200 to get this mower isn't easy. We're still a small channel. So that thumbs up and sharing our videos really helps, okay? Until we get that relationship with Ego, where we get a sponsorship or two, this is how we got to do it. We got to spend our own money. Let's check this out. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed. And there you go. We got the new 2167 SP right here. And what do you get in the box? Well, let's start off with Brooklyn. Nope, you don't get Brooklyn in the box. You get the 700 watt fast charger that you can also connect to the app and remotely monitor, so that's cool. You get the 12 amp hour battery, huh? 12 amp hour battery, this battery is what, 500 or I'm not sure what, okay, and Brooklyn decides. We get the high lift blade. You get the, uh, this is the economy blade, all right? If you just want your battery to last a little longer, you get your booklets. We get the rear side discharge. You get your mulch plug and uh, the new mower with some of the new capabilities. So let's check this out. All right, we're going to go ahead and just go over basics and we'll come back to this because this is exciting right here. And the other thing that's exciting, by the way, that we'll come back to is it's got eight settings now instead of seven. We'll talk more about that. But let's take a moment and go over basics, right? Specs and, and different things for now. So obviously this is the LM2167 SP, currently the top of the line for 2023. And this uh, MSRP is $1,000 on this. All right, now it does include a 12 amp hour battery. Okay, so keep in mind that's 500 and change, maybe more. Now it's got the new Speed IQ self propel system. It's the first of its kind in a mower. It digitally senses and adapts to the speed of your stride. Uh, the integrated display has real time information to monitor, monitor mower speed, battery charge status, plus the blade speed selection we'll talk about, right? where you can do tur turbo, normal, and eco mode. So we'll, we'll go over that and how long your batteries will last. Um, Self-propel uh, is not listed, so I'm going to have to assume that it's still 0.9 miles per hour all the way up to 3.1 miles per hour because it's not listed anywhere. It's not in the manual either. Uh, three in one, of course, mulch, bag, and rear side discharge. Of course, you get the rear side discharge. We showed you that earlier. Uh, again, this is a dual blade system, right? This is select cut, all right? And um, the, the motor in this is a brushless 56 volt, 8.3 foot pounds of torque. That's the same as the 2156 SP. It's got rear wheel drive, all right? And they say it cuts up to 90 minutes with the included 12 amp hour battery, but guess what? You can even get 105 minutes. We'll talk a little bit about that in a little while. It's got a new eight height settings for cutting, all right? So they're saying this can go down to one inch now, really one inch, all the way up to four inches. So let me go ahead and continue on with some specs. So with Speed IQ Turbo will give you about 80 minutes estimate. Normal will give you about 90 minutes estimate. And then if you use Eco, you can get about 105 minutes estimate. So that's not bad. Wheel size, you know, again, you're still looking at seven inches in the front. And they did do a redesign of the wheel, I can tell already. This is a little bit different. It looks similar, but I think in the comparison of the 2156, we'll see more. They did a little bit more green, all right? So seven inches, uh, wheel uh, ball bearing, and then nine inches here in the back, all right? Brand new. They're really underlining that green in, in a lot of places as well. 
Um, bag capacity is two bushels. Again, not available, so I'm assuming that. It looks like the same exact bag as the previous model. Again, you do get the 12 amp hour battery. You do get the 700 watt charger. The weight on this thing without the battery is 59 pounds or 28.6 kilograms. It does come with a five year warranty. And if you register the 12 amp hour battery, you get a five year. If you don't register it, you only get a three year. So make sure you register your battery, your mower, your charger. Now let's take a look at the battery compartment. We'll put in the uh, 12 amp hour battery as well. And uh, I gotta tell you, this does look bigger. It does look bigger. Um, again, I'll have to compare this in size to the 2156 in the video coming up, but let's take this big 12 amp hour battery. And all you do is you slide it in, lock in place got a little extra room guys i can put my hand down here my fingers got a little extra room to release it pop it up grab it and go okay now one thing to know also about you know the way they design the mowers you do have water holes in there just in case you get condensation and the connectors are raised which is really important you know what i mean so being up this high you shouldn't have to worry about that so they build this stuff to last there you go close that up and again I like that this stays open I always have little simple things so let's take a look at height adjustment real quick all right here we are with height adjustment and now you could see you've got an eight setting right six seven and eight which is cool and again you know all you're gonna do is grab this drop it down to the one man that does look low I'll tell you something that does look really low here's Brooklyn again um, but that wow okay and uh, then you know it, it, very easy right to bring it all the way back up which is really nice so I like that very easy to use and don't forget when you when you talk about the handle itself right this is adjustable as well so if you're new and you're watching this you know this is there's three height settings so depending on how tall you are or how short you are, you know, you can really adjust the handle. And uh, let me get in a better view so you can see that. So there it is at its lowest height. All right. Now I will go ahead and click it up one so you can see the adjustment here. So all you do is push this handle in, kick it up a notch. Let me just make sure that I've got it on the second setting. You back up here. You can see that you're just a little higher. And then if we bring it up one more time, you know, that's great if you're taller, you know, because, again, it's better for you and your back. Now, one of the new things they did this year with this model is you don't have to open up and open up the sides. It's actually got a center lever here. It, that's it. Just a one click of the clamp. All right. So all you do, open this guy up, push your handle in lock it in place and that's pretty easy so you only have one feels pretty strong too all right and again to collapse just close this up one more time and that's it take off your bag put it in storage mode and there's storage mode right very simple take this put this in your garage somewhere and you're ready to go now why don't we take a moment and look at the uh, under the deck real quick so Brooklyn came over to me and said, hey, you missed one more thing. And I said, you're right. Not only do we have the one clamp, but you, did, did you notice that there's no cables? They're probably all in the poles. So you now don't have to worry about that. I know some people complained as they were mowing, you know, might have got caught up on a branch or a bush. Well, I mean, that's pretty cool. I'll tell you, they continue to innovate. So one clamp no wires exposed love it right brooklyn right now before you're going to look at under the deck you always want to take your battery out right safety first so let's put the battery here and um brooklyn come up all right lift this up let's take a look so has anything changed is the question right i could tell you looking at this it hasn't changed um I, I don't know why. There's got to be a reason why they've got all this gapping around the deck. 
Now, yeah, I mean, they've done testing that I probably could never do, you know, so it's pretty smooth and, you know, I'm pretty sure it's pretty efficient in a sense, but it would have been nice for them to have a snap-on that kind of covers all this because, you know, when you're going to have to clean your deck, stuff gets all stuck in here and it's not easy to do. So I did make a video on how to clean your deck. I'll put the link in the description, but uh, yeah, so you've got your uh, gator blade right they call it the mulching blade the gator blade and then you've got your upper blade so there's your select cut system anything change on the bottom i'm wondering let's take a look at that so let's take a look down here just see if anything has changed you know i think they've always done a pretty darn good job of having wires exposed etc so i don't see anything here um yeah i mean it's pretty darn good to tell you the truth look at that that's a tight, sealed system. No exposed wires, nothing like that. So I'm a big fan of that because, uh, yeah, it's just going to help it last longer. They know these things are going to get some condensation and stuff. So that was a quick look under the deck. Now you do get some LED lights, right? If you have to mow when it's getting a little dark out. So you do get some LED lights. And uh, they look the same. There's three LEDs on both sides. I would say they look the same. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at Speed IQ and that integrated display now. So here it is, the integrated display. And let me go over some basics with you. So we currently have the lights on, so it's actually showing a light indicator. All right, we'll turn that off. So down here, you'll get a couple of icons that come up. Right next to the light, you'll get an error icon. Normally, because the handle is not fully extended, so it'll be, it'll be called a handle error icon. Next to that, you should see, and hopefully you won't see, an overheat icon. And then next to that, you'll see a service icon. What I'll do is I'll pull up a little picture so you can see what I'm talking about for reference, okay? Brooklyn's watching me here. But let's get back to this display. So you can turn soft self repel on or off. It's got a dedicated button right here. So all you gotta do is click this and it's on auto. Click it and it's off, okay? Now, this is the load indicator, by the way, this little line up top. So, you know, depending on your load, it'll actually sh light up. Your battery percentage is right here, all right? And here, this button down here is where you can actually change and choose eco mode, normal, or, you know, turbo. So all you got to do is hit the button, and now you're in turbo. Hit the button, you're in eco. So this is phenomenal. You know something? I've always heard a lot of people, you know, that have ego mowers want a turbo button. Well, you now have it, which is pretty cool. So there you go. I mean, definitely exciting, you know, to have something like this, you know, for us uh, geeks, you know, that definitely like it. So, yeah, the ego logo is there. Your power button is here to start the, the mower, obviously. Let's play around with this for a minute and actually see how it reacts as we're out in the frozen grass in the winter. Well, guys, i got to be honest with you. The, the grass is frozen and bumpy. It isn't the best lawn to do anything with. The camera would shake like crazy. So why don't we take a moment? I'm going to switch this into eco mode for a minute. Let's take a moment and just listen to how the mower sounds um, and, you know, go from there. So right now we're going to start this at eco mode. So push the button in, pull the bar. Battery's there. Let's switch. Normal. So interesting, you can't switch modes when you're already in mode. So I would have to go to normal now and then start it back up. Now let's switch to turbo and hear that. I definitely heard a difference with turbo, that's for sure. So it would have been nice to actually have, um, you know, where you could switch while you're cutting. So I'm going to try that again. Let me go ahead. We're on eco.
All right, so that's eco. I tried holding the button, figuring it would switch to normal, you know what I mean, instead of pressing. But let's go to normal again. Turbo. One last time. Eco. Normal. Turbo. Well, I definitely heard a difference. So it's kind of cool that you can turn off self-propel, turn it back on to auto. You can obviously, uh, you have a turbo button now. So eco, normal, and turbo, you can see your battery percentage and you can see your load indicator. Now, I don't have grass right now, so I can't really cut grass. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, and, and let me try this self-propel, I guess. Let me just, uh, it's gonna be bumpy, guys, but let's try this. I'm gonna put on self-propel auto. I'm going to leave this on, whatever. Let's just leave it on eco, okay? Turn it on. I just want to see if, you know, how that works. How, how does it sense? Sorry for the shaky camera, but I did see it work, actually. You know, I mean, it, it kept turning on and off, by the way, just in that short stride there. So it's uh, pretty interesting. Guys, you will have more to come when the weather gets better. But I sure hoped this was helpful information. Let's move on. All right, guys. Hey, I really hope this video helped you in some way. You know, as a small channel, we hustle. We want to get this new product out to you so you could take a close look and I'm, there's more to come for sure, you know what I mean? We've got Brooklyn out there with the headlights on her. We've got the uh, integrated display here, which is really, really cool. And you know what? If the video helped you in any way, definitely give us a thumbs up. We want to earn your thumbs up, okay? And if you're new to the channel, take a moment and subscribe. We would love to have you as a family member. Share our video also with your friends in your chat rooms. That helps the channel also. And by the way, follow us on social media. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. All right? And guys, thank you so, so much for your support. Brooklyn and I really appreciate it. You have a great night. Right, Brooklyn? Yeah. Hey, guys. Take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.